Hey surf fans, Paul Evans here. Today we're going to be talking about this beauty, the Channel Islands fish. Don't forget, of course, subscribe and like down there and ding that little bell as well. Okay, let's look at the outline. Pretty fishy. Um, load of width and volume going right up to the nose, which means we have a fairly straight sort of outline through that middle part and a really wide tail, that classic super wide fish tail. Um, that is all about maintaining that speed over those flat sections. That outline combines with those keel fins just to give you that drive. And basically this thing is just gonna fly as soon as you stand up. That's the idea behind the fish is getting a ton of speed. Uh, one of the other characteristics is just how fast they go from rail to rail. So as soon as you get up and surfing on those smaller mushier waves, it could be a summer beach break, could be kind of a soft open face point break, something like that. This thing's just gonna give you an absolute ton of speed from the get-go. Okay, well, the sea eye fish, what's it all about? Well, for surfing small waves, essentially, um, we're talking waves from around about knee high up to around about head high, something like that. Um, for those of you who can't be asked to lug a longboard down the beach, for example, still wanna surf on those small days, those summery kind of days. Essentially, you wanna go really fast and have a ton of fun, catch a load of waves. Sea eye fish could well be the board for you. This is the third iteration of the kind of fish design from Channel Islands. Um, the first one was a tr traditional type of fish. So really built with that kind of retro styling. Uh, then Channel Islands came out with a skinny fish, which was a quad setup, but a lot more refinement in there. This one blends aspects of both. Um, it's not a quad, it is a twin setup to be surfed with the keels, um, but features all of that fun and that flow and that speed that you get from a fish design, but with loads of modern performance built into. Okay, let's talk rocker. Guess what? There ain't much of it. Classic kind of fish rocker design, pretty flat throughout the board, all about that speed on smaller days. There's a little bit of lift in the nose it's very slight and that is really pushed up to the extremity into that front end. And then we're talking a pretty mellow overall entry rocker. You've got a big flat section, that sweet spot underneath the chest. That is for that effortless speed generation, but maintain the speed as well over those fat sections. Also just for paddling and wave catching, obviously surfing a much shorter board. So you wanna be able to get that paddle speed with a couple of strokes. And again, out the back, the exit rocker, it's pretty mellow. Channel lines refer to it as relaxed. So kind of an emotional state for the rocker. There's not a lot of it through the tail. Just enough to be able to get your turns done. This thing will turn really well. You wanna go from rail to rail, surf it on a rail, even in the pocket, it will turn in pretty steep sections, all things considered. But overall, it's a mellow rocker outline and that design is all about making you go fast. Okay, let's look at that foil and that foam distribution. And there's quite a bit of foam basically throughout this board. So quite a bit of foam going right up into that nose, almost that kind of beaky style nose up there, giving you loads of foam under that front foot. So for that paddling in, you got quite a lot of meat up here for that paddle speed. And also just as you get on the front foot, maintaining that speed and generating it as well. And that volume again goes right back through the tail. There's quite a bit there in the tail as well. So maintaining that flat deck, which is again, a traditional aspect of the fish and that flat deck with the flat rocker. That means we've got pretty full rails throughout. So not a lot of edge there. And the rails basically kind of bordering really on boxy. A little bit of curve through there, but there's quite a bit of meat right out into the rails again with the risk of sounding repetitive. That's gonna help you go fast through your turns. Okay, bottom contour, no major surprises here. Um, just using some of those kind of modern concepts to blend them in really nicely with a more traditional fish outline. We've got a single concave up here, it becomes a double around about that front foot area. And that double concave goes through out, all the way through those fins and right out through that wide tail, even on this super wide, tail here, still a double concave running through there. And that blends together really nicely. Nothing particularly extreme, no crazy amount of curve in there, but pretty pronounced and you'll notice it and you'll certainly notice the effect of it. 
And guess what? <laughs> it's gonna help you go fast. Okay, this particular one is in PU construction. So for people who like that familiar feel of PU, uh, it's also available in epoxy as well, if you want that sort of lighter feeling yeah, and that kind of slightly different flex pattern. It is available in epoxy. This one is the PU. Uh, it's quite a big one, this. This one's 511, and that is by 21 and a quarter. Comes in as 35.3 liters. You will want to surf this with a couple more liters, um, several inches shorter than your shortboard, but this is coming in on the bigger end for one of the bigger type heavier surfers.